Have you ever looked at a Zyto report and wondered, what? That's not an uncommon response when you see so much data. Look, if you wanted to mystify Zyto reports and review the data like a pro, then I've got just the tip for you today. Zyto software programs contain massive libraries of virtual items. When choosing items, sometimes we want to scan them as stressor virtual items, and other times we want to use them as balancer virtual items. When we scan an item as a stressor, we're in essence asking the body, is your response to this item in range or out of range? Now, range is a value calculated at the beginning of each Zyto session that helps us determine what to pay particular attention to. Dr. Cook likes to think of range in terms of it being your energetic threshold. So let's have a quick math lesson. Now don't worry, there isn't a quiz and you can watch this as many times as you want. Remember the algebra term absolute value? It simply means that we'll look at the size of the number regardless of its sign. This is the case with range. So if we plot range on a number line like this, it will extend out equally in both directions. We're not concerned about positive or negative. In this particular report, our range extends between 6.74 and negative 6.74. Now that we have range, we can start measuring and plotting the stressor responses in relation to the range. Any that fall outside of that range will be the ones that we're interested in, whether positive or negative. So, as we look at this report, we see that the circulatory system virtual item DR value is positive 20.98 and the respiratory system virtual item measured at a negative 16.35 DR. Although one is positive and the other DR value is negative, both are considered out of range. In other words, the absolute value is greater than our range of 6.74. Okay, now let's look at balancer virtual items. Back to the drawing board. When measuring virtual items as balancers, Zyto software ranks the results based on the most positive DR values. The higher the number, the more coherent the response was to the virtual item. Now on this particular report, we can see that ABC maximum strength bladder control formula has the highest DR value, so it's the most coherent virtual item in comparison to this list of other balancers. Now as a practice, we almost never consider balancer virtual items with negative DR numbers. That's because negative DRs indicate incoherent responses. Keep in mind, the actual number that you see on the report is less important. It's the ranking that we're after here. Think of it like giving someone a list of movie titles that you know that they like and asking them to sort them in order of how much they prefer to watch one movie over another. If you played the second movie on their list, would they be unhappy? Probably not, but they'd still probably prefer to watch the first movie on their list. Additionally, if you asked them to sort the movies again a month later, they would probably put them in a different order. So let's get back to our report. Just like our friend sorting the movies, here's a list of several balancers that were scanned listed from greatest to least positive. With this understanding, you should be able to review reports like a pro and start asking better questions and making better decisions to support healthy lifestyle choices like what products you want to take and making adjustments in your diet, things like that. If you simply remember to look for out of range responses for stressors and high positive numbers for balancers, you're on your way to becoming a Zyto Report Pro. Until next time, happy scanning. You're still here? Okay, well, if you liked it so much, I recommend checking out these terminology videos with Dr. Cook, as well as our webpage, Understanding Reports. These are two great resources to help you on your journey to become a Zyto Report guru. Also, don't forget to click here to subscribe and get more awesome tips.